Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on the Dropship from 2010, and also my last one for the 2010 Wave of Hero Factory, of course. So, on the front of the box here you see the logos, and a little blueprint of the pilot, and picture of the Dropship flying above Mako Hero City. And pan down and see age recommendation 9 through 16. Set number 7160 has 394 pieces. And of course, from the makers of Bonko characters and herofactory.com. And also, and from the backs, you see a driver next to it and the features of it. And as I pan up, it in a, in a fierce battle against Rotor and Von Nebula and all the heroes uh, listed off just with the canisters, but are the European versions of them without the piece count, of course. And onto the manuals, which let me pan down. Let me see with exactly two manuals to put together with. First one of which, just the promotional ad of Hero Factory, of course. And then second of which, is on the back of Evil Wing Kid, and went on the online survey. Ad for Lego Club, ad for a couple of Star Wars Clone Wars sets. Then you see a uh, Verno Bike against Rotor. And then Ferno and Stormer against Von Nebula. And then out of all the hero sets with all their names. And the pieces that come with the set. And then how to drop the canister and the last steps. And first off is the pilot of the set. Or as uh, Stu Carter, Atomic.com calls uh, Nobby, or Nobby, or what? Since he kind of, kind of called it something from Avatar, of course, but whatever. But although some can kind of call him as another hero of Hero Factory or a modified Mark Surge, but actually not, since it was just calling a, a dropship pilot, of course. Since doesn't have the leg armoring as the other heroes do, but also only one to use the these Avatar limb pieces, which the other heroes don't really. You just use the same pieces for both arms and legs, and of course same as barracks, of course. But the chest plate same as Mark Surge's, but the only thing things exclusive to him is the hero core piece in silver, of which. Nice for walking and whatnot, and also the uh, Avatar and feet pieces, but in black. Also, like we've had with Tuma, of course, and also under the blue uh, Gatorian headpiece is this helmet piece, so, which is actually the same as uh, the drivers of Caxine V3 and Sendox V1, and kind of thing, but in blue, which Good for mocking, of course. And I think that is it with this driver or pilot. And now on to the dropship itself. Of which quite cool build. Quite neatly built, even though it's quite technic based, of course. Lot going and just a whole lot of stickers in this set, like this with the Hero Factory symbol, Danger DS3, whatever, and also this one, these few of ones that have a couple odd markings on them. And again, as you can see.
yeah, there we go. Of like different villains that were shot down and whatnot. But anyways, for the lower parts of which are these long rods and lightsaber rods underneath, probably not sure what for, but whatever. And do have Gopaka Fantoka's wings and the Afatoran jetpacks acting as extra jets and whatnot. Oh, hang on. Okay. But in the back part, which smaller wings and a couple more of the wing pieces there, and also got the Power Myers wheel piece acting as a main engine, of course. On the other side, quite the same, but just without the Medak Sky Blaster, of course. But also, if you notice how it's attached on and whatnot, and if you look on the picture, it's attached a little bit differently. See that? Quite different. Which is false advertising. And I don't even get why that is, but if any of you know why, comment below. But as for the cockpit piece, kind of reminiscent to that of Thornass V9 and Jet Racks T6, where, but except you can, but it said it has bendy parts in it that you can take out, and also a couple of knobs there, or, and also these random uh, pieces on the side where you can place the, your pilot right into. And it does fit in quite well. Let's get the hands on the red rods, of course. And get the feet up like that. And there. And yes, can fit right over. As for on the bottom part, which do have a couple beams out, but acting as landing gear, but of holding it in midair can flip right up. Borok eyes on the side, probably to act as like uh, headlights or something. And as you see, it does have some gear functions to it, like some of the Mystica vehicle sets kind of did, and also a handle like them, but. And also this trigger that you can pull and bring all of this in. Yeah. Oh, it's fun and clever and horse. And it's now onto the main feature is what the, the rubber pieces, so, uh, these kind of pieces are for, is if you have a regular Hero Factory caster or Bonk Stars caster or until 3.0 canisters, of course, where you just put it underneath and pull it, and it holds the pot and pl holds it in place. Or as they're, or in universe, call them uh, hero pods, of course. So you can fly around with it, and when you launch into his mission, let go of it, and it drops the canister, of course. A quite fun feature, of course. And as for the Medak Sky Blaster, which I'm sure we all know how it goes like, pull that, and it fires like so, of course. But not sure if they would still call it Medak Sky Blaster there, but probably call it something else in the Hero Factory universe. Listen, and it's now on to the vinyl verdict. So overall, this, I think, is a quite cool set from 2010, although the price may be kind of weak and steep, like almost 400 pieces, $50, although, and of course, also quite so large for the price, but it's kind of a little sign of the times, of course, and also do get something that works with canisters, of course, which we barely see much, or barely see much from Bonkle and Hero Factory both. But also this, probably the biggest Hero Factory set there ever was, of course. And also the most expensive of all, which we never got in the rest of Hero Factory, but at least it did do well for some, of course. 
and of course also kind of key in part in most of the mini Nickelodeon miniseries also yeah and so anyways and if you still have this set from back in the day well I hope you had some good memories of it and for those of you who have it and still have access to this set I'd say definitely pick it up eBay Bricklink whatever and that's about it with this video like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching